Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just wanted to show you guys how I uh, calibrate my steps per millimeter on my X and Y on my machines. I learned this method uh, on my CNC um, mill and uh, I'm using the same method with this printer and it does work very well. Um, and basically the farther you travel with your measurement the more um, any uh, issues with your steps per millimeter will show uh, so for instance if you move your carriage 20 millimeters uh, it's going to be a lot harder to detect any issues with accuracy than if you were to move it 200 millimeters uh, so the farther you can travel and measure the better Because uh, it compounds it magnifies the error and it will show itself much easier and you can keep using that measurement to show where you're going with your measurements uh, adjustments, so uh, Basically what I have here is the machine is homed and I've done nothing else uh, I have a ruler here that has metric on it uh, because everything is in metric it's much easier just to use a metric ruler if you want to make sure the ruler is accurate uh, this one is I got it at Walmart it's just a simple ruler with uh, inches and metric on it uh, so what I'm gonna do is raise the bed up to the hot end nozzle um, that's the so I have duet open here and I'll be uh, uh, hitting Z negative 100 to get it to rise up. So I'm bringing it up close to the nozzle, not all the way into it. And then I'm going to go down to the one millimeter increment and uh, sneak up on it here. You want to get it pretty close. Not touching, but you want to get it pretty close. So I've got it close now, and now I'm going to bring the uh, nozzle out towards the, towards the hash marks uh, in the Y axis. So I'm going Y positive, one millimeter increments at a time here. And I'll get it, you know, so it's easy to read. I gotta go a little further. Uh, let's go a little bit more. So I'm towards the outer edge of the ruler. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, so I have the ruler right up against the, the bed uh, blocks there. And I'm going to adjust the ruler so that I, it lines up with one of the hash marks, okay? So I'm moving it in the X axis. So I'm gonna pick the number six there. So that represents 60 millimeters or six centimeters. So I'm just gonna line it up with the six hash mark. I'm gonna get it a little bit closer to Z, one more millimeter. So I'm like almost touching now. So I'm getting it right on the on the on the six hash mark. Um, so I'm just moving it. I'm a little too close. I'm gonna back it out a couple tenths. Okay. So now. I'm just lining it right up with the nozzle. Sorry, trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time. All right, so I got it. Good. It's right on the the hash mark. Seeking. So there. It's actually easier to do on the camera. That's one little trick you can do is use your camera's magnification to help uh, line it up. So. That's pretty much right on. 
so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 300 millimeter uh, measurement here. So I'm going to tell my 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 carriage to move in the x axis, the x positive, uh, 100, 200, and then 300 millimeters, and it should land at 360 millimeters. So let's uh, do it. 100. I'm hitting this here, X positive 100, X positive 200, and then X positive 300. So let's see where it landed now. So you want it right on the 36. As you can see there, it's over by about one millimeter. So it's traveling too far. Um, compared to what I told it to move. So my step per millimeter and my x axis are off. Uh, so I need to calibrate that. I need to, I need to adjust that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Duet web interface here and go to settings, system editor, and then config.g. So I'm going to move down here and um, adjust my settings here. Steps per millimeter, that's what you're looking for. And then you see here's X, and then here's your Y, and there's your Z, and there's your extruder. So this is the number we want to play with right here, right now. So in order to reduce the travel distance, um, I need to reduce this number. Uh, so by making this number smaller, it will make the travel distance less. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down to 86.75 just a little bit. So this can take a couple tries but you want to take the time and get it as good as you can. Um, if you can get it real close at a measurement that big your prints will be much more accurate so I'm gonna go ahead and save it and then it's gonna ask me to reboot duet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so there's that and I'm gonna reconnect to duet here all right now we're loaded up I'm going to home everything again Alright, everything is homed and now I'm going to basically repeat this test. So I'm going to raise my Z. Get up on it a little bit more here. I'm going to bring my Y out a little bit again. Bring it down just a little bit more. So we're pretty close on there again now. So look where we're at. So we're... Must have bumped the ruler a little bit. So I want to line that back up. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. So it's easier to see. Uh, my measurement. Let you want to get the nozzle right on that hash mark. So by getting the nozzle closer, it makes it a little easier to to get it right on. So you can see I'm. Pretty much right on. Take the time to get it right. All right, so now I'm going to repeat the test. So I'm going to go in my X 100 positive here. Uh, uh, do it once, twice, and three times. And then I'm going to check it again. So let's see where we're at now. So there, as you can see, I'm pretty much right on the money. 
with that. Um, I'm happy with that. So that's how I do my stuff per millimeter. Um, and then I'll do the same thing with the Y. The Y is a little bit harder to do um, just because it's a little awkward getting a measurement and reading it. Uh, the camera zoom feature, if you have a late model phone, uh, definitely helps uh, see where you're at on the hash marks. Um, if you can't see it with your naked eye, uh, you can get some good magnification down in there and see. Uh, but that's that's how you do it. That's how I do it, anyways. Um, so, anyway, so any questions, let me know. Take care, guys.